hello in this video we are going to learn how to do modular grids or geometric nets that is the same so a modular grid is uh, composed by a module as you can see here that is repeated at the same area as you can see that modular grids need to have a, a net as you can see here and these nets of the modular grids are always triangles square or hexagon and this is the main nets that we used to have we have other variations more complex but the main form or the main shape of our grids are always going to be these ones. Okay, so here for example, we have an example of a modular grid made out from triangles. Here another example made of triangles and circles this one it's again made of triangles and as you can see we can make it always more and more complex reaching to very nice and beautiful designs as you can see and finally we have also more organical nets and more organical uh, modular grids um, as you can see here and it is composed in a square and see that they have put the shape of the flower inside the square and they have repeated several times or in this one they have the main square and in the main square they have like this wave inside and it's repeated along all the surface of the grid okay so the first thing that you have to do to draw your modular grid is do a straight line okay and because it measures 90 degrees in this uh, angle i'm going to put this little square like this perpendicular like this parallel with 90 degrees to the first line that I have draw so when I have it like this I'm going to draw another line and now I'm going to mark a distance between the different Mm, the squares that my grid is going to have so in this case I'm going to do it with the compass because this program doesn't allow me to do it in another way so here for example as you see I have set my compass with one centimeter and I'm going to be marking one centimeter along all these two lines that I have made but you can do it with the rule you don't need to do it with the compass okay once I have marked uh, the one centimeter along the two main lines that I have done in my paper the next step is uh, take our set square and because we know that this has 90 degrees. I'm going to be doing lines, straight lines, all along the paper, as we are going to see. So once we have our square modular grid, well, what we can do is get it more complicated, get it uh, more beautiful, let's say. So to do that, I'm going to show you 
how to um, uh, do circles on it to make a circle grid so an easy way to uh, get our grid more complicated is do uh, circles but you have many options hmm? and now the tip is that when I want to do the second file of my uh, circles I move it one square is going to be more interesting Okay, and if you, now when we have finished the uh, first um, circles, we want to do the net even more complicated. We can continue making another circles in those points of the net that we haven't set our compass. So then it's going to be appearing a more complicated and beautiful net made of some of these flowers okay so with this grid you can superpose different colors and the result is going to be really pretty and beautiful. So now we are going to see how to do a triangular modular grid. So to begin, the first thing that we have to do, as we did in the other case, is draw a straight line. And when we have that striped line, we are going to take the compass because what we are going to do is we are going to draw an equilateral triangle. So to draw an equilateral triangle, you choose, for example, a measure with the compass. In my case, I'm going to do it with two centimeters and I'm going to draw an arc and I'm going to move the compass and without opening it or closing it with the same measure I'm going to draw another arc now that I have these two arcs we can see that they have this point where they cross so that's the place where we have to take our rule and join the bottom vertex of the line with the bottom vertex of our triangle but we are going to continue doing a line at the area of our paper and we are going to do the same at the other side of the triangle and now uh, in the same way that we did to with the um, a square grid we have to mark um, the distance between the different triangles so to do that you can do it with the rule in my case because the program doesn't allow me I'm going to do it with the compass so I set the compass with two centimeters that is the measure of the triangle and I'm going to move it till the last vertex of my triangle and I'm going to be drawing where the other triangles are going to be placed or where the other lines that I need for drawing the, the grid are going to be placed 
Okay, so once we have marked the the distance the distance between where the other lines of my grid are going to pass, what I need to do is do parallel lines to the side of my triangle. I'm going to check if it's really parallel. And you have to do it using your rule and your set square. Okay, now that I have these lines, what I have to do is do the same, but with the other side of my triangle. That is to say, we have do the prolongation of this side of the triangle. Now we need to do the prolongation of the other side. Okay, so once you have marked, as you see here, the distance between the different lines that are going to pass, uh, choose the most longer line that you have in your previous lines, okay, to, to do it, to distribute the two centimeters or the centimeters that you have choose in your triangle. Okay, so once I have marked them, I have to put my set square parallel to the side of my triangle to the side that it has been prolonged with this line. Right? And now I have to do parallel lines to it at the different marks that I have done. Okay, so let's do it. So now that we have these lines, the only thing that it means is the um, lines of the bottom side of our triangles. So these bottom side lines of our triangles are going to help us to fill the whole area of our paper because there is going to be one point that is going to happen this to you and you're not going to be able to continue, right? So that's why we need to continue doing the straight lines, in this case parallels to this line of here, to the bottom line of my triangle. So again, I'm going to do it. Okay, so this is it. I'm a bit sorry because as you can see the lines are not very straight. It's because I'm getting used to use this program. But in real life with your set of squares and your rule, if you are accurate controlling them, this is not going to happen and it's going to be more accurate than in this case. So remember that with this grid with the triangular modular grid we can do very nice creations this for example is a creation done with um, triangular modular grids as this one so be encouraged to to use this grid because it really gives you a lot of advantages to do a beautiful design so nothing more to say. I hope that you are going to enjoy about do the design, your creation, and don't hesitate in asking me uh, your questions or any doubts that you may have. Goodbye.